Born in a time of transition, promise, and prosperity, children of the early 20th century entered a world where anything seemed possible in America. In the aftermath of World War I, we saw America coming of age on all fronts. From the boom of Wall Street to the rise of major industry, the United States of America was quickly taking its place as the most powerful nation on earth. The Roaring Twenties ushered in a new era of American dreams and indulgence. Popular culture was rich with entertainment and personalities such as Babe Ruth and F. Scott Fitzgerald. Radio was broadcasting to the heart of America while the Four Horsemen of Notre Dame became household names for their college football victories. Only history could tell us these were temporary times soon to be lashed by the winds of change and uncertainty. Shortly after the blackest of Mondays in October 1929, Franklin Delano Roosevelt was promising a new deal for America and declaring, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. While others in the world were plotting and sowing seeds of war, America spent most of the 1930s healing and growing. As the decade neared completion, we were once again entertained by major musical stars, including Glenn Miller and Benny Goodman, while Clark Gable and Betty Davis lit up the silver screens across America. In 1940, we entered a new world of promise and prosperity, but it was clear to many that war would define this generation's coming of age. On December 7, 1941, a day that lives in infamy, Pearl Harbor was attacked. The news spread like wildfire across the radio waves, changing the lives of all who heard it. America mobilized like no other society in history. In the weeks that followed, we sent our youth from all walks of life, around the world in both directions, not to conquer, but to liberate. Farmers, truck drivers, miners, lawyers, and teachers from every ethnic background and religion joined the effort. FDR reminded us that we are now in this war. We are all in it, all the way. Every single man, woman, and child is a partner in the most tremendous undertaking of our American history. Americans believed in the cause. The freedoms of speech, religion, and economic prosperity became our vision, not just for us, but for the entire planet. After hard-fought battles such as Midway and Guadalcanal, America led the world on June 6, 1944, in the largest amphibious invasion in history, with Pearl Harbor as the beginning and the beaches of Normandy as the beginning of the end this noble generation rose to heights not seen before or since. We invite the heroes that served our nation during World War II, as well as those who served on the home front, to stand with me, to stand up once again united in purpose and passion for a greater world, a world in which we fought, dreamed, and shared with generations to follow. Lift your hearts as we salute you, our heroes, America's greatest generation. Mm -hmm.